In Oklahoma, we are truly blessed with many beautifully wooded parks and recreational areas. They offer us a chance to escape from our daily hectic work routines, a chance to enjoy the splendor of the great outdoors with family and friends. To make sure that these natural wonders will still be around for years to come, our children will need to be well informed about the life cycles of trees and our forest. Well, to help with this educational process is an innovative program called Project Learning Tree. We recently visited with Brenda Weiser of the Oklahoma Conservation Commission about the program. I guess, Brenda, first of all, tell us what is Project Learning Tree, or PLT as it's sometimes referred to as. Project Learning Tree is an environmental education program meant to supplement teachers or educators, youth leaders, um, whoever works with children for grades K through 12. It focuses on the forest and our natural environment. And um, how the two coexist, I guess. And how the two exist, exactly. Okay. Now, who developed the program as far as support people? Because it's very intensive. Tell us a little bit about the developers. Originally, it was developed by REEC, which is the Western Regional Environmental Education Council, along with the American Forest Institute. And um, what they did, they developed the activities. They had teachers, curriculum writers come in, help write the curriculum, the activities. It was field tested by the teachers out in the field across the United States. So, um, suggestions were made and the final product. All right. When was it first developed? How many years has it been in existence? 20 years. 20 years. Back in the early 1970s. Okay, Brenda, who are the coordinating agencies for the state of Oklahoma? We have two sponsoring agencies. One is the Oklahoma Conservation Commission, and the other is the Oklahoma Department of Agriculture Forestry Services. Each agent, state agency provides a coordinator, and the other coordinator is Bob Harrell and myself, and we're the two that run the program for the state. Okay. Now, it's not just in Oklahoma, though, right? Tell us about how far this program reaches different audiences. It is found in all 50 states, along with Canada, Sweden, um, Guam, a lot of your various nations across, and Japan just joined on. So it's truly international. Okay. Now tell us a little bit about the activity guide. I found it interesting that there's already pre-planned lessons and activities. Tell us a little bit more about that. Each activity, and I'll just select one here, and pick one out. Um, this one, for example, is pH and plants. Each activity is laid out to where you have the objective and the activity. We have the subject, the grades, major principles that are covered, concepts, and skills. And it gives the student or the teacher something to utilize so that whenever she or he decides to go out and teach about pH and plants, everything's laid out so it's a cookbook type approach. And it also gives examples of how to tie it into their curriculum, whether it's spelling, English, various right. things like that, right? Exactly. Um, subject, for example, this would be in science. Some of them deal with social studies, mathematics, language arts, even music. Okay. Now, how are people going to be able to come involved in this as far as people you're teaching to instruct it and then, you know, students too? How, how can people get involved? The way that you receive one of the two activity guides, we have an elementary and a secondary, is a individual, an adult, anyone working with youth, um, educators, 4-H leaders, Girl Scouts, Boy Scouts, you go through a basic six-hour workshop and um, what you do during that workshop is you learn how to use the guides, a little bit of history about Project Learning Tree, the sponsoring agencies once again, and um, the participants actually lead activities in front of their peers so they get the hands-on approach to education. So it's not just teachers at school systems, it could be anyone interested in working with a youth group. Though. Right, anyone. Okay. And then uh, who teaches the instructors? What, what level is that group? The, uh, we have volunteers or facilitators that go through a special two-day two workshop to learn more about Project Learning Tree and how to teach. Usually we pair a forester along with an educator up to teach the workshop. Sometimes myself or Bob will do it, but most frequently we have volunteers that go through special training and our facilitators conduct the workshops to teach the youth leaders and educators. One of the PLT facilitators, Paulette Hood, is also an elementary teacher at the Claremont School in Claremore, Oklahoma. 
She explains some of the lessons being taught from the workbooks. It's uh, to teach the kids the difference between trees using their bark. What we did with the kids was uh, we talked about how bark helps the tree and what the purpose of the bark is and how it relates to our skin. And then we had them uh, look at the bark of each tree and then make a rubbing of the bark so that they could see the textures and the different things that the, the bark has that sometimes you miss with just your eyes. We were looking for patterns. We were looking for uh, smooth and rough surfaces. We were looking uh, to see if the tree had an odor to it and uh, to see if the patterns were running lengthwise or sideways of the tree. In science relation, we talk about a lot about ecology and what we can do to help the trees. And if we see how trees are related to us, then that helps the kids. Uh, with language arts, you could uh, use the uh, comparison words to help you write stories and sentences about trees. And most people can identify a tree by its leaf. And that is uh, one way that we can take the leaf back to the classroom without actually picking a leaf from the tree. And that way the kid can take it home and be able to help their parents get involved in what they're learning at school. That could be really used for any age group. We were using uh, an elementary uh, guide there, but that would go up into adults. This was in the secondary guide, but it could also be adapted to an elementary depending on uh, how you want to talk to the, to the children about it. It was uh, talking about how trees will transpire uh, moisture into the air. He was talking about relative humidity and the difference in temperature with the humidity involved in that. Uh, what you have to do is come out uh, a day ahead and put a plastic sack around the leaf and close it up so that you can see the moisture that is gathered inside the bag. And depending on the temperature outside, that will depend on how much moisture you have. Well, I'm just hoping that through activities like these that we can teach kids about protecting our environment, protecting our trees, and just taking care of nature the way uh, it should be taken care of. The activities um, are great, and the kids, once they utilize the activities, they come away with a new meaning, and they tend to understand more of the interrelationship between plants and animals and man and how we all fit into the big picture. While taping this story, I noticed that the adults being trained to teach Project Learning Tree were having as much fun as the kids taking the program. Well, if you would like to become involved in PLT or just get more information about the program, you can write to Project Learning Tree, Oklahoma Forestry Division, 2800 North Lincoln, Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, 73105.